Right, in this video we're going to be looking at thumbnails because it seems to be a common theme in the last couple of exam papers of creating a button that's uh, known as a thumbnail. Now we've obviously discussed this in the lessons that we've had what a thumbnail actually is. If you think about YouTube and other apps where you have a small image it gives you a little preview of what the actual video is going to be or in this case what the link is going to take you to before you actually click it. So we're going to use some of these images that we have here I've got a few here and I want you to decide on which one you want to use. I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to go to fireworks and I'm going to basically create a, a shape, a size. I'm going to go into here. Now you can choose uh, any page you want, but in this case, because I'm going to use this picture, you can see it's a football um, net, sorry, uh, goal. You can see that it's actually a football pitch, so it's going to be a football link. It wouldn't make sense to have that on the football page. So I'm going to go and have that in my home page instead. And I'm going to basically put it uh, here in the left, on the left-hand side. I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to decide just the size itself that would be best suited for this. And I would say that half of this would be good. Because remember, thumbnail is supposed to be smallish. It shouldn't be massive. Because it wouldn't be a thumbnail then. So I'm going to go for, let's say, that's 50, 100, 150, 200. I'm going to go for 250 by maybe 150. Yeah, 250 by 150. So I'm going here, width 250 by 150. Now, again, we can change this in a moment if it's too small or too large. That seems okay. Just going to look at the picture again to remind me. Yeah, that seems okay. And I'm just going to simply open that image. So I'm going to go to File and Open and Find that image that I was talking about, there it is. Now again, I've got these images here that you can use. So you've got another one there if you want to use that one or this one. It makes no difference to be honest because we're going to be putting it in the same sh shape and style anyway. So I'm going to use this one. You decide which one you want. Now, we're going to just drag this across into here. And because the canvas is smaller, we can keep it like this or we could, holding shift down again, drag it in and fit it in a little bit better what we need to do now once you're happy with the, with the, with the position now you can have it on a slant you can have a bang in the middle I'm going to have it central actually yeah you click away and then all we need then is some text and usually they will tell you what to type Okay, so you follow what they say. In this case, we're going to use what I say. So I'm going to put down football um, page. There we go. And I'm going to have a central. So click here. I'm going to use that arrow here to push this up. And I'm going to press enter. Control A to select it central. There we go. And there it is now. That's a bit hard to see. It's a little hard to read. So I'm going to put it into the middle and then change this by adding some kind of filter to see what will make it easier to see. That makes it a little bit easier, but I'm not happy with it still. So I'm going to delete that and add something else, maybe an outer one. That makes it easier, but it's far too big. So maybe if I make it smaller, no, that's the wrong one. So go back to that number and perhaps this one. There it is. So I'm going to make this a size 4. There we go. And perhaps the blue that we have from the previous page. So I'm just going to pick that blue for now. But I'm going to go back in here to see what the color of that was. Um, so I'm just going to go for that one there. 06C. But actually, let's be um, too much of a... Uh, perfectionist to let that go, so it's 0066cc, 0066cc, I'm going to undo that, go back here, and double click it, go in here, 0066cc, and press enter, there we go, now that matches the colour scheme and it's a bit easy to see as well, click away, done, file, save as, and we're going to save this as a Put it in there. Football thumbnail. Oh, thumbnail. 
Okay, done. Now because there's a button, it would be good to have some kind of effect where your mouse goes over it and it changes so you want a roll over, roll over. And I always typically just click on the background itself and uh, add some kind of effect to that. So we can go to here and maybe have a glow, maybe sharpen, uh, noise, yeah. Blur, blur is a good one, so we can put a good sign blur. Move this down so you can see it. See, I quite like that. So on 4.1, press OK. That's fine. I'm happy with that. File, save as. That's fine. We're going to put number two there. Done. And I'm going to put that very easily, simply in here. Insert, image objects, roll over image. Find this picture that I just created, this button. There it is, thumbnail. Would have been nice to have an, uh, a number one after that as well, but it's fine. And click on the second version as well. There we go. And again, you want to type in football. Um, what should we call it? Football link. Ooh. And again, type in some information to describe what is actually on that picture and you press ok and there you go that's a nice little and that's a nice size i'm going to push this over this side so it's nice and neat save this go back here and let's give this a test and there you go and it works perfectly it looks really nice it's easy on the eyes you can read the text when you put your mouse over it, it makes it even easier so you can see what this is that's about and we simply have to now add a link to it so you go on here, click on that, go to link, click on this, and you find your football page, or whatever page it's supposed to go to. Control on S, go back here, let's refresh it, and if I click on it, it goes to the football page. Home page, football page, perfect. Okay, now all you have to do now is if you have to make two of these, you're going to go back in here, you decide what that should say, so tennis maybe, in fact do I have a tennis picture, let's have a quick check, uh, yes I do, so I'm going to go back in here, tennis, there we go, perfect, and all we got to do is just delete that background and get the other one open, file, open, yeah, two second job, it's got everything there anyway, so I need to change the colour scheme or anything like that, just find the picture that you want and simply drag it in, to here, if it's too big, hold on the shift button, drag it in, push it to the center, that'll do, I'm happy with that. It's above the text, so we go up here, you see send backwards, there you go, nice and simple. Um, in fact, I might increase the size of the picture, just because we can't see the person's face. Uh, but to be fair, it's not really that important as long as you have it in there. The main thing is that you can see that it's about tennis. And that's going to be saved as tennis page. So save as. Or tennis thumbnail. Save. And then click on the background to add a filter. This time it's blur again, just like before. Because sign blur, make sure it's the same number, 4.1. Yep, perfect. Click away, file, save as. And you notice how quick this is now doesn't take that long once you've got this design once you've got the setup this size is the same and now you have consistency if I go in here now if I was to type click on it let's just say I want to underneath this I click on that button using the arrow on your keyboard press right there it is can you see the flashing cursor press enter and now the cursor is underneath it you go to insert and you can get rollover image and do the same exact thing so I'm going to find the tennis thumbnail there it is and then I want a second the second version so go right to the bottom there it is and tennis link and again explain what it looks like what's on there on the alternate text now you can see that it's exactly precisely the same size and we save it go in here if I refresh that you'll see the both there they'll both work both has consistency, has the same colour scheme as the logo and the buttons. When I click it, it goes to the... Well, actually, it doesn't go anywhere because obviously I forgot to add the link. So you click on it, click on the folder, and choose the tennis page. Save, and now it should work.
There you go. Oh. That goes to the front home page, but that doesn't go to there. Let's have a look. It says tennis page there. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that and put it in again. Now to that, go to the bottom, say no to that. Now I'm just typing tennis link here, but you can put tennis page, link to tennis page, whatever you want to type in. Make sure you have alternate text. Remember, that's the general rule of thumb. You see that word, type something. Now hopefully, now if I add the link, it should take me there. I'm not understanding why it's not doing it first time around, but let's give this a go. Hopefully it works. Save. So we refresh. There you go, it's working now. Okay, so if ever in doubt, this is why it's so important to test it. Just check that it works, and if it doesn't, just do it, do it again. So that's working now. And that's how you create thumbnails.